So good evening, everybody. Uh, it's our pleasure and welcome to all our facilitators. Thank you so much for giving us your time. And now we will be starting the group discussion presentations uh, on different topics on which we all got together on the 2nd of August. Uh, but before that, I would like to uh, share with all of you that we have among us a new life companion, which is Amrit Aunty. Let's have a big round of applause for her. So Amrit Aunty has been very gracious enough and uh, she just shared, you know, I was a three months baby, you know, when I was in new life and I actually traveled. So maybe she traveled in the caravan or in the mother's lap, we don't know. So we want her to unfold the stories uh, of uh, new life, the intimate stories which will uh, bring us even more close to new life. So the way we have structured today's evening is that first we will have Amrit Aunty share her stories over here and after that we have our 11 groups and each of you I'm sure has done a fantastic job to prepare for your presentations and after that we will uh, go with our presentations, okay? So thank you so much everybody for being over here on time, thank you. And auntie, please. Okay, as Rakhi said, I was three months old and I remember everything. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> my family's life uh, with Bob, I started new lifetime and Baba's new life. So it was new life for our family too. Because when Baba did, you know, was traveling, he decided to come to Dehradun. He sent the message through his uh, close companions uh, and his followers who were living in Delhi and Dehradun, like Keki Narawala, Keki Desai and all, that look a place for me in Dehradun. And, uh, and then he gave uh, what type of place he would like to visit. And be, Baba been to Dehradun many a times. And I'm very proud to say if you see, and they're saying Baba's visits in different places, Baba visited Dehradun the most of the time, of not including Mehrabad, Mehrazad, Pune, and all that, but other places like in numbers, Dehradun. Anyway, so Baba was coming in, and it is 40, I think beginning of 49, or maybe, yeah, when Baba decided to, he's coming there, and there should be a place ready for him. And his followers looked around for the place, according to Baba's instruction, they couldn't find. So then Baba sent them a, a letter explaining, okay, what you do, as Baba been to Dehradun many a time, Baba knew where is the center of the town, where we have clock tower, we call Ghantaghar. Baba says from there, go four to five, uh, four miles towards the north, uh, northwest, and after going there, turn half a kilo, uh, half a mile, and around there, and that was my father's place, fortunately, that spot. When these people came and they told my father that we want to look, uh, we want to buy a place here around you, and they didn't tell because Baba's order those days was not to disclose who Meher Baba is. I mean, so they said, oh, our elder brother, our friend, um, he's coming and he wants a space there. And my father, really like these people, as I always say, Baba Pilo, wonderful, everybody likes them. So my father really liked these people. He had never heard about Baba. And he helped them to get this place where Baba would come for, you know, to stay there. And this little cottage was built there. Anyway, so initially Baba didn't come. Once the cottage was ready and the that property was brought, there was even a well was, uh, there was water shortage, so well was um, dug there. And uh, so anyway, uh, everything was ready and then Baba didn't come. Baba sent Kekobad. Kekobad used to stay up on the hill. You must have met his daughters, Gulu and Jalu, most of you who's been here before. So, to, from Kekobad, my ha father actually really heard whose Meher Baba is, or Meher Baba's name. And my, uh, the way his followers were doing Baba's work without mentioning his name, the way Kekobad was worshipping Baba in his own ways and repeating his name, my father wanted to see him. 
And then the message came that uh, Baba is coming to Dehradun railway station, but he's not coming to this village uh, where this property was bought for him. And so one of these uh, Babas, so those uh, followers who were working there said, Kumar, my father's name is Kumar, Shatrughan Kumar. Kumar, Baba is coming to railway station, and if you want to see him, come there. So father said, yeah, sure, I would like to see, because you know, the way these people used to talk about Baba, my father really wanted to see this, who this Baba is. And when he reached railway station, he saw the train has already arrived, and everybody was getting down, and Baba was already down, and he was uh, in the uh, waiting room, standing there, his hand on the table, and looking beautiful. My father from distance saw, and he had this feeling, I don't care who he is, I would like to serve this person the rest of my life. Just this thought came, he just wanted to serve Baba, without even wanting to know who he is really, you know, it's like that, or finding out for himself or anything. Anyway, Baba gave him chance again and again. So now I always jump to my own story. That was my father's. So now uh, Baba is in vicinity, Baba is in Dehradun, Baba is in Haridwar, Baba is going to Masuri, Baba is going to Rajpur, and even he went to higher in the Garhwal side. And then, uh, uh, the, then, after quite some time later, Baba came down to this cottage. And uh, that time, so when Baba was in Dehradun, I must have born that time. And when Baba came to this cottage, I was three months old. And as I said, it was new life uh, traveling time. And so my father, has, you know, once my father met Baba and he offered his services to Baba, Baba did ask him to cook meals for him for his, uh, not cook, I mean, didn't provide meals for his family, his mandli, and uh, for him, for Baba. So that way, ba my father was now known to Baba and Baba's uh, mandli. So when the time came, Baba came over to this cottage, this place, and uh, my mother and father who, uh, Literally, you know, in love with Meher Baba, without caring his God or his Guru, his Mahatma, whatever, they decided not to give me name, and they waited for till Baba came. But when Baba came there, uh, my mother felt very shy. She did put me on his lap for his darshan, but didn't ask anything. But later on, she asked, ladies, Mandli, Meheram, Mani, Goher, Dr. Goher, and Mehru, they were there. If Mehra Mani could name the baby, and that's how I got the name. Mehra and Mani chose this name Amrit and asked Baba if this name is, because they wouldn't do anything without asking Baba. So I got this name Amrit. And then Baba was there in this cottage for a short while, and then he started traveling. It's a part of new life. And one day Baba asked Kumar, Kumar, would, uh, you know, as you're helping us for preparing meals or uh, my father being in politics and all that, he knew quite many uh, these uh, politicians who had properties here and there. So but my father could arrange a cottages and little bungalows for Baba in whichever town Baba went. So now Baba was going to Haridwar and Baba said, Kumar, could you arrange the place in Haridwar, which he did. And then the, when the time came, Baba said, come along with us and bring your wife. So father said, Baba, she got a small baby. She, you know, she won't be able to. Baba said, no, 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 bring the baby too. <clears throat> so I got my chance to travel in your lifetime. <laughs> and um, so we went, it was by train. So the whole, you know, quite many other people were uh, invited. Only three people I remember who are still, maybe there may be more, but I know now, is Mrs. Narawala, who's in Bangalore, my mother, she's in Dehradun, and myself, we are three, I think, alive, who traveled in New Lifetime with Baba. So anyway, it was uh, just hour, hour and a half train journey from Dehradun to Haridwar, but I was there. <laughs> and then uh, Mehra got very concerned, saying, oh, 
Baba has invited Subhadra, Subhadra is my mother, Subhadra and the baby, and uh, baby will cry at night time, and she will disturb the, disturb Baba, and how, what should we do, why did, you know, maybe Kumar should keep the Subhadra somewhere. Baba said, no, 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 everything will be all right. So Baba's room was upstairs, and the ladies were downstairs, like there, and the men mainly outside, somewhere near, close by cottages and all that. And, oh, not to miss that, I was a very good baby, I didn't cry. <laughs> and Mira was very happy with this thing. Maybe that's why Bob, uh, they had me in their mind that, how good I am. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm not good. <laughs> so, anyway, so, um, the other thing is that, um, so I, I must be almost like a four months old by that time or something. Baba had given in the morning all the ladies and every monthly uh, two, two cookies, two, two biscuits, we call them in India. And uh, so my mother kept those two cookies thinking if the babies start crying middle of the night or something, I'll just make a little crumbs with the water or something, you know, like give it to baby. If, but then what happened? It was uh, next up morning, it was lunchtime, and Baba came before lunchtime that night, and he said, I'm very hungry, is there any food? So Baba, they said, uh, ladies, Monday said, Baba, the man Mandli has gone to arrange for a meal for you. It will take a little time, but I'm very hungry, I haven't eaten anything. So my mother very sweetly pulls out those two cookies. He said, Baba, I kept these two for the baby, so here they are, you can have these, you know. She was very shy, but I don't know how she managed to do that. And I was told that Baba took up because a little pinch from that and gave it to me too. So that way I got my first meal from Baba. So this, uh, to me, they gave me the name. They gave me, you know, this, uh, this uh, uh, my meal, first meal, and then later on they arranged my marriage, and they means Baba and his monthly. So, they, you know, my real parents, <laughs> the Baba and his monthly.